making salmon. Add my um, apple salmon. Roasted garlic infused sea salt in southern style spices garlic salt on my salmon. So, as you can see, I just wanted to give it a different flavor, and I got the uh, red onions, purple onions, whatever color you want to call them, and I placed them underneath the salmon. I'm gonna leave a little ventilation on my foil. I don't want it completely covered. I just want some little ventilation as you can see. I'm gonna place this in the oven for 350 degrees and let it cook. 50 degrees, start, and time. The, the onion, the rest of the onion, I will uh, have it at another dish at some other time. But I want to let you know, I'm gonna do some red poppers. This is gonna be my first time doing red poppers. Uh, and I'm gonna fill them with some uh, some type of good cream cheese filling. See how it go and bake them. And I'll let you see my final dish, but I want you to know that ways that you can use apple cider vinegar in your meats, no matter what type of meats you have. Um, some people cleanse it, but I use it as a seasons mechanism. And if I wanna clean my meat, I use the white vinegar. I don't waste my brags on cleansing. And uh, as you know, I had three steaks, um, uh, three steak, um, I can't even think of my favorite fish. <laughs> you all know what I'm talking about, but my three, um, it'll come to me later. Don't laugh at me, you all. But um, salmon, there are three salmon steaks and uh, with the seasonings, uh, this is a different flavor uh, taste. That all my salmon has a different taste when I cook them, and I'm gonna cook some other dishes to go side dishes to go with it. And so, I just want you all to know that don't be scared to use your use it as a seasoning. You don't have to put a whole lot. Uh, you don't have to. You just need maybe one or two tablespoons, depending on how many pieces of meat. It's three of us in the house. So I just use two tablespoons towards uh, those pieces of meat. Uh, you don't want it, the vinegar to dry out the seasoning. And I left it, leave, I left it in there. So I'll share you my final touch and just stay tuned. Okay, I'm chicken salmon steak. I fried it on one side a little bit. Uh, for my, the seasons that I'm gonna put in here and then I'm gonna put, uh, I just wanted to cook it on one side. And then, I'm gonna set this aside and place it in those skillet. And this is the skillet that I'm going to actually bake it in. I just wanted to fry it a little on one side. And I have uh, infused Southern infused garlic seasoning. It's, it's called Southern Style Spices Garlic Salt. And I went to Whole Foods and got that. So now I'm gonna slice this uh, onion up. I'm not gonna put a whole bunch of onion in here. But I wanted to give it a different taste. So a different color scheme. I'm gonna put a whole bunch. I always take the outer shell and I don't know why. I'm gonna rest it. You being good little girl? My puppy goes outside at night. The fuss at who's in. What I do is usually place the onions 
underneath the salmon or the meat, whatever meat you cook. That's how I normally do it. Um, onions are good and healthy for you. So I'm gonna finish putting the onions in here. I don't know why, I just like it to infuse, so it can infuse underneath the onion. The onion infused under there. Okay, so I've done that. Now, if you want other seasons, uh, other than what I did, of course, change your salmon up to have different flavors. And I, I use two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. And as I said, uh, Southern style spices, garlic salt. This is my first time using this. I'm just at awe when I go to Whole Foods because they have all these different types of seasonings. And I'm always trying to try them, but we're gonna place the salmon with foil on top. I'm not gonna cover it tightly. I just want it enough uh, where it can get some vap vaporation and keep some of the moisture in. 